In this video, we're going to write a C program to check if a number is negative, positive, or zero. The first thing we'll do is declare an int type variable called number. This variable is going to store the number. The next thing we'll do is call the printf function to prompt the user to enter the number. So we'll call printf and we'll pass it the string enter number colon. So the printf function is going to prompt the user with the text enter number. Next, we'll call the scanf function to accept an int value from user input and store it into the number variable. So we'll have scanf and then in a string percent %d and then as the second argument and number. So this percent %d here is telling the scanf function to accept an int value from user input. And and number here is going to pass in the memory address of the number variable to the scanf function. And the scanf function is going to use that memory address called a pointer to store the number entered by the user into the variable number. Next, we'll use an if statement to check if the number is negative. So we'll have here if number is less than zero. So this here is called an if statement. And if the number is less than zero, the code in this block in between these curly braces is going to execute. And what we'll do is output that the number is negative. We'll have here number is negative, followed by a new line with backslash n. Backslash n is a single new line character. It's going to cause any additional output from the program to appear on the next line of the terminal. Next, we could add an else if branch to this if statement. So we could have here, else if number is greater than zero. And again, we'll have a block of code with these curly braces here. So if the number is not less than zero, then this block of code is not going to execute. Instead, we'll then next check if the number is greater than zero. And if it is, we'll output here that the number is positive. We'll have here printf number is positive, followed by a new line. And finally, we'll add an else case. We'll have here else, and then again, another block of code with these curly braces here. So now if the number is not less than zero, and the number is not greater than zero, then neither of these blocks of code is going to execute. Instead, this block of code here for the else case is going to execute. And the only possibility left is that the number is zero. So here we'll use printf to output number is zero followed by a new line. And then if we save compile and run our program and enter in the number, let's say four, we'll get here number is positive. We could try it again. And this time we'll enter in negative two. And now we'll get number is negative and we'll try it again and enter in zero. And now we'll get number zero. So our program is working. So right now our program accepts integer values from user input and integer values cannot contain decimal places. We could use type double here instead of int. Double does allow us to store values with decimal places. When using scanf, we should now have here percent %lf to accept a double value from user input. Now, if we save compile and run the program, we can enter in numbers with decimal places. So we could have here 2.5 and we'll get number is positive. We could have negative 0.5 and we'll get number is negative. And we could enter in zero and we'll get number zero. So this is how we can check if a number is negative, positive, or zero using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.